10 years out road. So we're, we're, we're up, we're live. We're not live. No, we're, we're not live. We're coming at you live. Coming at you live. Coming at you pre recorded. Uh, okay, guys. Well, here we are, episode 31. Uh, this is our Christmas episode, so Merry Christmas. I was. Uh, Happy holidays. Don't you ever say that to me. I had asked my, uh, my family to come through in a clutch and get us some Santa hats for this episode because it would have been ironic and, and funny. Um, and you can see we don't have Santa hats on, so you know how that works. Hey, speak for yourself. Oh, are you boy. wearing a Santa hat? <laughs> us too as well. Like, <laughs> are you, are can't you... fool the camera, Dakota. <laughs> Wait, what? He, he, th- he thought we were just only <clears throat> recording our voices. He's like, yeah, I'll tell everyone I have a hat on. <laughs> No, we should have uh, we should have Tony just doctor some uh, Santa hats. Oh yeah, can you edit up here? Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah but it would look horrible. Oh, hey, ho- hey, it doesn't have to look good. That's, That's not what this hilarious. is about. I'm gonna move like this. I'll try to edit a hat. So yeah, this is our. Uh, we're not editing hats on this. <laughs> we're not. So, um, yeah, episode 31. This will, is our Christmas episode. It's our first one that we've pre-recorded. So if you're watching this, it's clearly not live because we haven't put it out. 31 uh, episodes. 31 episodes. Yeah. And this is airing on Christmas night. Um. So Almost we thank you for joining year. us, whenever you may be joining us. Uh, I'm Tim, your host. Uh, I'm Jakey. Jakey. I'm Dakota, who's apparently not the host, just here. Oh, apparently apparently not. not the host. I thought the host sat in the middle. That's Jake's funny. the host. I'm fine I, with that. I, I would like I to point out, I sat in the middle for like the first 25 weeks. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, why did we switch it up? What are you doing? Well, we had the tape. We had the turn it to a table, so it was, there was no middle. It was just two sides. There's literally still a middle. Still in the middle of the table. Well, now I'm in the middle. Yeah. I, I should I just, just if when when you switch back to the other format, I could just let lie nude in the middle of the table. Oh. <laughs> and we eat sushi. My oh, God. Oh my God. Good yes. God. <laughs> well, We've never had we more can viewers. Edit that out now. Um, and we then we can. have Tony, our uh, beautiful producer over yonder. <clears throat> um. So yeah, here we are over with episode. Yonder. Here, yeah. Well, he's literally yonder for me at this point. What's, uh, the, what's the distance of yonder? You'll have to look it up. It's a colloquial like, term. But uh, if, look up the distance of yonder. I would yes, love to if, know if how you far could, yonder is. If you is. could put that into numbers for me Well, the, p- the point is uh, a furlong <laughs> is a distance. There's an actual measurement for a furlong. A furlong? What yeah. is a furlong? There's a league. A league has a, a, a measurement. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. But which, what is, which what is you, a furlong? Do you know what a league is? Before we go to, Nobody knows what a furlong is. You know what a furlong is? I don't know what. Merriam-Webster defines yonder as at or in the indicated more or less distant place, usually within sight. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. so there's there's so no wow. yonder. There's no <laughs> everything in here is yonder. You're literally yonder by that definition. I, I, yeah. Well, I'm a yonder away. The more comics are less. not yonder to us. Can, that that's correct. They're, they're not, not within, within sight. sight. Not within sight. Okay. So a league is that is that three miles? Uh, it appears to range from 2.4 to 4.6 miles, so... That's a big window. Yeah, yeah. It, it's Can you not imagine if yards were like precise. that? So, like, somebody rushes for 100 yards in football, and you're like, ah, you know, it's, you know, 300 feet, or no, wait, how much is 100 yards? Uh, 3.3 feet times the wait, 100? a so yard is 3.3 feet? It's I believe so. 3 feet? Or wait, wait, no, I'm sorry. I mean, say, that my a, life that's has a been meter. a lie. That's a meter is 3.3 feet. So nobody uses meters, can you, though. Can you imagine? Uh, literally, no, nobody uses meters. Nobody in the world uses meters. Oh, my God. I, you, you just triggered, like, half the planet. That's I'm sorry. Right. Well, consi- I was going to say planet. considerably more than <laughs> half the planet. <laughs> <clears throat> because they're all watching this. They all see it. They are all, all non-Americans. Apparently, <laughs> uh, six meters is, is I mean, what, how many, what is that? Six meters. Like, that's very, very long. It's far, right? Yeah, like, like 18, 20 feet. I was gonna say that's like over About. fifteen feet, right? Well, no, no, it's gonna be over twenty feet because each one is three point three. Over twenty. That's insane. Okay. Okay. So anyway. Okay. I, what's all I'm saying is I think Aragorn <laughs> was six meters tall in Lord of the Rings. I believe. Six meters. There's no, no way. There is no way he I was thought that this, tall. I thought I read something. He was like six point six meters tall. He's literally a, like a, a cave troll <laughs> at that, that point. Is so tall. <laughs> Do you know the what Aragorn's race was? Um, he was not. He was not human, technically. Why do you have to bring he race into this? That's not his race. That was his class, bro. <laughs> that was his class. <laughs> they gave him plus two sneak. He like never snuck. Snuck. No, I, that's, that's why a, it was kind a, of a sneak. He, he definitely he, he min, never he min never min his character in class very well. So like all the Munchkins in the world were pissed at that Aragorn was a ranger. Hey, well, you he know was the, clearly there was, a barbarian. Um, speaking of Aragorn, there was actually a um, like a particular like knowledge of like a trait of knowledge that he didn't ever take regarding second breakfast. 
He never picked that up. <laughs> I could go for so apparently, according to uh, <coughs> Lord of the Rings Wikia, uh, Aragorn is six foot six. Okay, maybe that. Uh, okay, okay, that six, is considerably like less person. than six meters. No, okay, like, a regu- Do you know anybody that's six foot six? I'm I, sure I they're not regular. Well, <laughs> within reason, I suppose. Like six foot six is. Only so half. yeah, yeah, he's pretty. He's he's quite a bit bigger than average. Okay, so so just to put this in uh in, in perspective, six meters. Can you look up how tall Goliath supposedly uh, was? The biblical Goliath. Eight eleven, wasn't it? I have no idea. I thought it was. Uh, no, I have no idea. I've always been told that that story. He was like towering, like like an actual giant. Yeah, like not not a big person. Um, oh, this is six nine. I thought it was. For Goliath, I thought it was more than that. Goliath was six nine. Was David a small? It was. Was, was Galerith? Gal- Galerith. 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 Was, was okay. David like anyway? Four that's feet your tall? Uh, that's your Sunday school lesson there. So <laughs> episode wow. thirty one. Uh, we what's poppin', y'all? We started with what's poppin'. What's poppin'? Wait, are are we sure that this is episode thirty one? Yeah, uh, I'm not, stop I'm it, not sure if we've touched Brad's on it enough not here. times. Could be thirteen. Yeah, we, we could have a little Cut bit it. of dyslexia. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> We're uh, starting over. What's poppin'? So what's poppin', Jakey? Aquaman came out this week. All right, moving on. All right, moving on. <laughs> wow. From that. No, uh, I I actually Big heard DC very good things about Aquaman. Here. I have too. It's almost like if DC made the solo movies. <clears throat> before um, the collective movies, before the collective movies, and maybe maybe it would have made universe. sense. Yeah, but, but no, they, they well, like I said before, they wanted listen, a piece of that Infinity like, War pie. Man, yeah, but Man just, of Steel was a. It may not have been great, but it was a solid movie. That looked terrible. Wasn't it like super long too? Well, it was, it, it was kind of long, honestly, you you probably coherent, just feel that way because you hate Superman. It was still a coherent I never saw story. it. It just looked really boring. <laughs> it was still a coherent story with. Uh, That's what DC suffers from, and. And good characters, like uh, uh, the characters were well developed, I suppose. Uh, and then Wonder Woman was amazing. And then still haven't seen that. And then I've here been hearing nothing but good things about Aquaman. But all the collectives, Batman vs Superman, Justice League, Suicide Squad, all trash. Justice they, they League all was flop. very very bad. Justice, Justice League may be one of the worst movies I've seen. It was so bad. Oh okay, movie. I don't I don't know yeah. if I would rank it among the worst no, movies the, I've the seen. No, the Fantastic Beasts was very good. The, the new Fantastic Beast years. movie is one of the bottom three movies I've ever seen. Oh wow! Now now like it. when you That's now to popping. me when I judge movies I I also like probably subconsciously bring in the the budget. You know, because like you look at like an in- indie film that's bad. It, it, to me, that's different than like a, Jurassic World being bad because they have right. literally all the money at their like, disposal. Like the Room is amazing. Sure, like exactly like the, like the Room is a a bad film. But okay, it, by all by all accounts, it's a bad film. But because of how bad it is and budget and whatnot, and you it just didn't see have it. it didn't have the Last Jedi's uh, resources. Right. You know, like literally when they made the Last Jedi. There was no, the the John Hammond line from Jurassic Park. They they spared no expense. I, I actually saw a meme just earlier today that made me think of you guys, because uh, the meme was basically it was a pie, it was a pie chart just split in half, <laughs> and it was like my reactions while watching The Force Awakens, and literally like on one side it just said crying, <laughs> and on the other side it, it, the other side it was like me making incoherent like involuntary noises of joy. And I'm like, wow. I didn't do that. I'm like, no, I didn't do that. Yeah. I would, <laughs> we went to see the last. I was the like, last who, Jedi together. Who went to that movie and, and last, honestly it liked was it. So funny. So last Jedi, <laughs> we were watching it, and the the uh, the, the, the scene happens right. <laughs> the, the the scene. The scene. The the, the, the <laughs> infamous scene, and me and Adam and Steve all because <clears throat> Tim's sitting behind us. We all just look back at him. And we all just like, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this Leia scene right now? In case any of you guys were wondering what scene I'm talking about. Oh, I, we all and know. Then, the Mary Poppins it crossover. Got, it got all quiet. Wow. It, got, it was dead silent in the movies. Just you could hear uh, pin drop, and all you hear Tim go, unbelievable. <laughs> 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 oh hey, you know Mary Poppins? That's popping. Oh, I'm yeah, done. I, I, I audibly see. swore aloud in in uh, at several parts in the Last Jedi, also uh, with expletives such as "what the f" <laughs> and uh, "un effing believable." I believe was the. Uh, it was great. It made the movie experience better. Uh, 
Pat was with us also, and he fell asleep next to me. Well, I fell watched. asleep yeah, the during the last. Watched, well, I fell asleep the first time watching uh, Fantastic Beast number two, at, at least two times, probably more. Um, there was a big fight scene at the end. I slept through the majority of it. It was a horrible film. I, I probably will will wait to see it. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll wait as well. I'm not gonna go watch it. In I never. I didn't really watch much of the first one. Uh, I, I didn't watch a lot of it either. But like, I'm, I'm not a good. I'm not, not a thing. fan of like you know, what like what they're Potter doing with. Yeah, the, I'm not a Harry Potter. I, I I actually do really like Harry Potter. Uh, I like that whole universe pretty well. Um, I just, yeah, like I, I don't know. I just, a lot of it up. Yeah, I don't like how they're portraying it in the Fantastic Beast series. Well, though. It, it, it's back to the. Uh, <clears throat> what was it when the Crystal Skull came out? It was like Indiana Jones and the quest for more money. <laughs> you know, that's that's basically what all these movies are. Yeah. So they're like they know that they can. Have you seen the 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 meme? It's like a, a Star Wars cow, and Disney's walking like Mickey's walking up to it, and like the cow is just totally shriveled, right? Like the udders are like, it's like a water balloon with no water. Yeah. And, and, Mickey's like, all right, girl, we're here for more or whatever. And the cow's like, no, like, it Do, has no more to give. Doesn't the cow say Star Wars on the side of it? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I think there's been a few that have said that. So Very, yeah. I'm gonna, various I'm gonna franchises. Take, uh, I'm going to take Brad's uh, spot here and talk about a South Park episode. All right. <laughs> Someone has to. So when, when, no, they, they actually don't. When they, <laughs> it's when, been proven. When they do, uh, Scientifically. When they do the Mickey Mouse episode. Uh, South Park, it's so funny. Oh, like, I'm sure. South Park has been... He, uh, <clears throat> So it's about it's about boy bands, right? Now Disney owns like some boy bands out there. And, Do they really? I think and, they have in the past. Yeah, they have. In the I think past. they have. And, uh, well, they probably have a music signed. division, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, like you know, through the shows and stuff, like Hannah Montana. And, well, yeah, like the whole Mickey Mouse Club, like where they yeah. foster young clones. I mean, children. <laughs> so, so Mickey Mouse is like this ringed gangster, like mob. And he's like, oh, you better do your. Better do your job, or something bad's gonna happen. Huh? You better make the music. <laughs> and it's, it's so he's like he's like this gangster. It's so funny. That's amazing. Did you see that video? It was uh, it was a Mickey Mouse clip from like probably like 1922. He's like making uh, he works at a cheese factory. Okay, and this is ex- kind of explicit content here. <laughs> and it was it was originally from like the 20s, right? Whenever it was. It came out and Mickey's working on the assembly line and the block of cheese comes at him and it's like splits off to like cheddar and Swiss, right? So he lets some of them go by, but some of them he grabs and he's like, you know, like doing like the yeah. 20s anime, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. And he literally puts his penis into the cheese to make it Swiss cheese. Wow. I'm serious. Wow. Like, it, and it, it but it, you know, it, it's like a second long, you know, one or two seconds and it's over. So, like, if you're watching it, like, you just subliminally see it. You don't... It was one of, like, they play the clip, and then they go in and show you. And, like, it's a it's a meme video. So, it's right. like, the guy's face is like, like, what? But there's a lot of crazy stuff about Disney. This makes me think we need to add a conspiracy element to this show at no, some I, point. I disagree. No, we need to do a <laughs> weekly conspiracy. So, what? like... No, we do. What's that? We I do. think, it, you know, because some of them, <laughs> some of them are wild, but other ones would be pretty thought-provoking. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we can we can do a weekly conspiracy. Yeah, you know, and it can be like, you know, because like, there's been times where people are like, oh, well, we caught a Bigfoot in Georgia, well, what about but the, we can't uh, take pictures of it. What about the uh, Avril Lavigne died and the uh, Hollywood replaced it, her with exactly a, like stuff like with that a, oh, yeah. with the devil. Yeah, with the devil. With the double. Oh, okay. Could be the devil. Huh? I was gonna say like they would. Um, they would use Satan to replace a largely washed up and irrelevant pop star. <laughs> Maybe. He was Have a you seen boy. Uh, see, uh, Spideyverse yet? I did see Spideyverse. Yeah, what'd you think We're of it? We're still on what's popping. It was amazing. Yeah. I I it, wait. Hang on. You saw it? Not yes. even a phone call. I, no, sorry. I don't know if you are. Hey, you know, I said the same thing about uh, lunch this afternoon. Uh, so. Dude, I thought you were working. I haven't hey, seen you, know, you on even a Sunday. If I work, invite me. They agree. I didn't get a phone call for lunch this morning either. So. <clears throat> you were we working. We were there and we're like, man, we should ask Jake so he could have not came. <laughs> I wouldn't have came. Anyways. You would have or wouldn't I have? Would not have That's what I'm saying. But I would like a, I would like an invite. You just want to you want to have the opportunity to turn me down. And, and my ego needs to be stroked every day. Well, it hurts when you say no. Well, my ego is bigger than yours, <laughs> or more important than yours. It's more sensitive, at <laughs> least. Uh, but Spideyverse was amazing. It exceeded all expectations. Um, the animation was incredible. It made you feel like you were watching a comic, but at the same time, a movie. Like it was really weird. Like. 
it wasn't like frame by frame, right? But like within the within the scenes, you you just seen the colors, and and the action scenes were brilliantly animated. The animation was just it might be my favorite, like just animation movie of all time. I've heard well, that it's one, like, like one of the just, best just, movies of the year. Uh, it's great. Like the story, the voice acting, the characters are all really well done. Who's the main character? And if you say Spider Man, we'll end it, the show. It's Miles and Peter Parker. Miles Morales and Peter Parker. All right. Uh, it's Miles Morales, I guess, is the main character. But Peter Parker um, is, is there from beginning to end. Like he, he's just as big as a character. Big of a character. Gotcha. And has just as big of an impact. I, uh, um, I've heard a lot of really good things, but I just have literally no interest in seeing it, and I, I don't know if... Oh, then what would you need a phone call for? I just... I, gotcha. I, want, I want to be able to Check say me. no. You want, you want to be able to say no. No, I Now just, the tables have turned. I, I, I don't know. It's just... I, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't I think pique a lot my interest. Pe- I think a lot of people are going to not want to see this movie because it's animated, or... That doesn't necessarily bother me. I'm going to go see the Broly film. Well, Which I didn't get a phone call oh, for that Dragon. either, but I ended up getting you a ticket would, anyway. You would not see a Dragon Ball movie if it was live action. You would only see it if it was animated. To be fair, the live action Dragon Ball movie was historically terrible, wasn't it? Of course it that was. That may be the worst movie. Was. That and Death yeah. Note is <laughs> probably my two worst liked movies. Did you see The Last Jurassic World? They're just like me. Did anyone? Did, did you, see you watch it the. Uh, oh, wait. No, no. You haven't seen I, the last... Oh, my God. Oh, you, okay. I, I have never seen a Jurassic World film. They're all bad. They're you. both yeah. bad. Yeah. No. I, I, oh, I, did you see the Lego Movie 2 trailer? <clears throat> no, I didn't see any of them. Dude, like I'm not going to lie. The Lego Movie actually... It wasn't terrible. The it, Lego it was, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, they're it was, made it was with good. adult themes so yeah. that they can suffer through it with their kids. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's got well, a lot of Well, a lot of childhood movies are now. But Chris Pratt is the main character, right? And um, there's like this. Second, Please tell me, he trains a raptor. There's this intro character, or the, they're introducing a new character, which is also voiced by Chris Pratt, I think. And he's like, he goes, I'm a, he goes, I'm an archaeologist. And something, something, something. And he get, keeps rolling off all these things, and he goes, and raptor trainer. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> and it's happened. And it's it's clearly making fun of everything Chris Pratt has done, and then like. The next scene in the trailer, it shows the original characters with Chris Pratt, like petting, belly rubbing a raptor. <laughs> That's amazing. It is so funny. Batman was like one of the best characters in the first movie. Yeah, yeah, Batman's great. <laughs> he was hilarious. Da, 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 da. I bet, wow, I really screwed up that bat theme. Yeah. This is really weird without community interaction also, I yeah, gotta it, say. It's, it's definitely quite a bit different. I think we're going good. We're popping. No, no, I mean, but it's nice to have the... Everyone, everyone should go see Spideyverse. Even you, I think people. If you don't like animated movies, I still think you'll like this movie because it's really good. You know, I, and, and I'm not saying like. Oh, the ending, by the way, the post credits, it's it's the best thing ever. It's literally the a- best. after after the, the, post, the Spideyverse. Credits, yeah. Yeah, it's the it's the best thing ever. I don't want to give it away. I might <clears> if you want to know about it, I'll tell you guys later since you're oh, gonna go see okay. it. Okay. No, I, I probably will see it at some point. Okay, then I'll All I was you. saying is I just, for whatever reason, I'm not intrigued to go see I, it. I, I don't want to tell you the post-credit thing. But you want to talk about it. Because it'll ruin it for you? But Because it, when you see it, I just don't want to. I, I hope it's okay. Deadpool. It's so good. No, just, just go. Whenever you see it, just let me know when you see the end credit scene. All right. Because it's amazing. It's All the right. best thing ever. All right, Dakota, what, what's popping for you? Anything? Hey, Anything? I brought up the Spideyverse thing. Uh, that's on the board, bro. That's cheating. Yeah, I brought it up. I don't care. I, I, re- I read it did. off the board. Okay. I segued yeah, it into our conversation. Yeah, and you me. slammed it home. I, I'm I responsible. Tomahawked it. Uh, tomahawked. Um, we could talk about the Lions. You know, we, we don't have never done a show on a Sunday before, so the Lions, uh, again... Yeah, uh, but, like, if they're already out of the playoffs. Fecal mattered the bed. They're already out of the playoffs, and I know, like, it's a moral victory to beat the Vikings, but, like... No, no, not, not even beat them. To play like you want or to be there, deserve to have it. it you, you, the thing is, like they don't. I don't think the Lions have quit. They are just horrible. That's fair. Like you, when you they're watch not, it, they're not good this year. When you but, watch it, but you again, don't think, this is this isn't news. This is this is what they have always yeah, been. Yeah. Can we talk about the plight of the Lions fan? Are you a sports fan, Tony? Um. No. Are you no. familiar? You're familiar with how bad the Detroit oh, yeah, Lions yeah, have been yeah, historically, yes, though, living yes. in Michigan. Oh yeah. I envy you in a lot of ways that you're able to. I, I don't care. 
I've like, uh, I, I, no, I it's largely don't either. <laughs> oh, it's it's miserable. I've I, uh, I got like a, a anecdote, I suppose, that uh, is kind of explicit. But they say, um, if you're a Lions fan, it's like, <laughs> it's like you're always being teased, but never getting off. And then, but that one time when they win the Super Bowl, it's gonna be like the best and, and, orgasm in your life. All right, you went the whole nine yards there. <laughs> I said it in not grotesque terms. That's fair. Um, I actually, talking about the Lions, I, I heard a, a pretty disturbing tale for, out of Detroit. Uh, apparently happened like just yesterday or Friday. Um, somebody had two Lions tickets on the dash of their car, and somebody broke into their car, and they left two more. You're li- Can you're you li- believe you're that? So dumb. Can you oh believe my God. that? Happened? Like, you you can't do anything in this world anymore. <laughs> this guy told this guy came in here and told me a joke saying, "This guy uh, got got a uh, genie lamp. And genie came out and he's like, you got three wishes. His first wish was like, I, I want to wish forever, or I want to live forever.' And he goes, well, I can't do that. That's against the rules. He goes, okay, I want to live until the Lions win the Super Bowl. Uh, <laughs> that's forever. Oh man, he, he got you. So the genie's like. Damn you! Like, <laughs> just, okay, again. Think, okay, just think about this like an abstract term. So, like, you live until the Lions win the Super Bowl, and an asteroid hits the planet and blows it in two, and you can't die. So you're floating around in space. Perfect. You'll find home eventually. I don't. I don't know if that's true, Jake. I mean, I guess if you can't die, like you could, you could live anywhere. Yeah, you make a home. So you'd like land on Venus and just like. Don't you evolve? Venus is a terrible, terrible place. It like rains acid. Hey, have you seen? So no, you might not die, but you're gonna have acid rain on you. Have you seen uh, India? Apparently, that, that's you a just bad equated place to... India to Venus. It's accurate. <laughs> Listen, there's some things it's of real beauty Venus. on Venus. Have you seen <laughs> New Delhi? Huh? I, I've seen pictures I've of not, New Delhi. I have not. I, I've they have been, rivers. They have I've, rivers of like of actual garbage. There's an epidemic of public <clears throat> pooping. People just like, all right, gotta go. I've I've been to Australia and like nearly every animal there could kill me. So I was like, I'm I'm, I'm going back. I'm too afraid to go. To yeah, I, I I don't really want to go other places anymore. <laughs> and on land, spiders chase you, and in the water, uh, jellyfish the size of a centimeter can kill you. So, this entire world, dude. The the, the the spiders were so big in Australia, they had health bars, like the. They were That's ridiculous. Funny. That's really funny. <laughs> uh, the, everything in life now re- re- reverts back to a meme that somebody has seen. So I saw a meme. It was, was literally a, it was like a dog killing some kind of shark or some kind of something was going on in the main part of the photo. Like it was right right on the ocean edge. There was something else killing something in the scene, and then there was like something else going on further out in the water. It was like. I really butchered it because it was hilarious. I just can't remember the specifics. But basically, there were three deaths happening simultaneously. Like, this is Australia. And, and actually, I've, I've seen that one, that meme. And there, there were, it was six different animals, and the three of them were dying. Yeah, it was just like everything was it was unbelievable. Everyday Australia. Everyday Australia. Yeah, no. Friggin', I do not envy those people. So, all right. So that's a, a good 20-minute introduction there to the show. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what we're, uh, the, one of the main topics tonight, and that's Christmas. Obviously, you're watching this, or you may not be watching it on Christmas, but this is our Christmas episode. Yeah. Um, and I refuse to call it a holiday episode because it's on Christmas. That's um, right. It's on the day of Christmas. This is literally... That's right. Christmas episode. Christmas episode. Um, if you prefer Yule, you know... Yule? Yule yeah, that's, solstice that's episode. The, the Nordic, yeah, the, like... Right, like what's the, the like that's the what was the pagan holiday called? Yule. Oh, Yule. Well, I mean, one of the pagan holidays. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's, it's like a whole. It's all based around like the winter solstice, right? Which was like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I will be honest. Like, I yeah. really think that Christians should have a problem with not necessarily Christmas. Like, it's pretty pretty widely accepted and known that like Jesus wasn't born in December; he's born in the summer. Yeah. Um. Well, we don't even. We're not even sure. But, it's but like, yeah, we, well, just, we well, just don't know. Well, it wasn't yeah, December twenty fifth for sure, but it, right. it's like recognized, I suppose. Right, right. Well, the, the the thing is, like, the early church, in order to get more pagans to to <laughs> convert to Christianity, they started acclimating some of their uh, holidays. their holidays. So, 
They're like, oh, Yule, you know, like, let's make it Christmas, you know, just change, like, Halloween. Yeah. I mean, they Christianity didn't do Halloween, but same thing. Like, Samhain was a pagan holiday. Now it's a, you know, now we call it yeah. Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, they all have. Yeah, it ended up being, like, uh, the day they uh, scared all the demons away before All Saints Day, because All Saints Day is November 1st. Right, yeah, like they like they would come back from the dead, and you had to avoid them or, or appease them or whatever, uh, or they would take your soul. Uh, it was something about scaring them away. I it, maybe there's something maybe. to do like with the, like the the gourds, like painting or carving a gourd and putting a candle in it, like would ward them off or something. something. Like that, yeah. So that's where the the pumpkin crap comes from. At any rate, there's a lot of history. Uh, like the Christmas tree is there's nothing absolutely nothing Christian about a Christmas tree. You they know what I mean? they made some symbolism out of it, but uh, generally. Not inherent. Well, it's like, not, a German, inherent. it's like a Germanic, you know, Northern European yep. um, tradition. But I mean, it is what it is. So you we celebrate it as this, right? Um, I don't know where the hell I was going with this when we when we started talking. It's our Christmas um, episode. No, no. What, what, Continuous <laughs> tangents. There was a episode point, thirty-one. Well, there was a point in there somewhere. And I I literally can't remember what it was. Um, man, I really don't know. I think it was going to be a good point, too. Oh, man. Apparently not. That's the first one he'd have, too. Oh, man. We're still waiting. Unbelievable. We're still we're, waiting. We're, we're going to live forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. I'm going to live until... I actually saw another meme. I wish to live until Jim makes a good point. I saw another meme. It I'm was... going to watch the show later. and be so mad. <laughs> like This is what I was trying to say the whole time. Go ahead. The, the, gen- the genie is like, uh, okay, hey, you have three wishes, and the, the guy... You shut your mouth the, right now. The guy goes, I want four. He's like, granted, you have three left. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, so yeah, anyway, this is our Christmas episode, uh, airing on Christmas Day and then available forever on the internet until it gets taken down for some reason. Until the internet gets taken down? Uh, if the internet's taken down, something bad has happened. Something, I'm going to say that. Do you, you know, do you think anything could ever replace the internet somehow? I think something inherently will like, at like some point. What, what, could that look like? I think I don't, I don't know. I don't think it will ever replace. I think it will just transform. Like so, like internet well, has been continuously. Eventually, it'll become better, obsolete, though, right? Like, 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 how do you have internet between, like, let's say, just the moon, and I mean, can you have the internet between this off the planet? Yeah, probably. Well, can a Not series now. of tubes be extended that far? But that's what I'm saying. Like with orbits and stuff, it would really it break, right? Because the inter- we all know the internet's a series. Well, no, of tubes. They're, they're like uh, like think of it like a big bendy straw. Why? <laughs> Why would we do that, dude? I think you're on to something. Inter- the internet is a series of tubes. <laughs> now we just need to create like uh, macro bendy straw technology so that we can get the internet to the moon. So if I re reroute these tubes, I mean, if you guys could see Tony's house. face right now, Tony's a, very much a tech guy. So what we're doing right now is hurting him internally. <laughs> Yeah, no. It. I feel like that's the it look that I'm gonna give my son when he disappoints me through radiation. Oh, we should just talk the continuous memes. I, I, thought, I seen the meme the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's just sixty minutes of us talking about memes. We don't even. How show there's them. entire YouTube shows about. Uh, yeah, he does meme a meme review. review. Anyway, I uh, think that's genius. By the way, because like he does no work. <laughs> Zero work. Everyone, everyone on his Reddit posts memes and then and he takes re- the top voted ones and reviews them. Yeah. Yep. And, he, and, and, by reviewing you, you mean he gives his opinion on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. It's, it's all yeah. good. For ten, a 10-minute video of him just reviewing Just memes. talking about memes. Anyway. Um, PewDiePie is actually not that bad, but I hate the way he makes his videos. So, like. It's obnoxious. Yeah. How, what, what now? Like, how's he, he? Just the way they're cut and, like. like they're the I, I've never seen them. They're actually, I mean, it's they're, not they're, terrible. Like, they're, they're, like, <clears throat> it, inc- they're very less obnoxious than they used to be. Are they? Like. When he was playing games and stuff and screaming all the time, sometimes he still screams. But a lot well, of times... he's built a. He's oh, built okay. a Are brand, you saying right? PewDiePie? Yeah. PewDiePie? Yeah, yeah. Is is this the same it's like the the League of Legends player? No, that's PewDiePie. Okay, you didn't say that's what I, that's wait, what I was wait, thinking. Wait, hang on. There's what? There's there, a there's... League of Legends player, a pro player named PewDiePie, or I am PewDiePie, or something like that. PewDiePie. Yeah, is yeah. A yeah. Can okay. we talk about how and League of Legends talk about needs my meme to be destroyed? Dude, it's it's still very successful. Tangent. This meme. This go ahead, go ahead, Jake. So go ahead. It was Trump, and he was on the phone with IT service, and he's like, "The government's not doing what I want it to do." He's like, "Have you tried to, uh, turning, turning it off, off and turning, turning it back on?" <laughs> and he like had this look on his face, like, "Good idea." Can we talk about this hyper hypo- 
I that, always say yeah, hyperbole. I guess that's popping let, let, too. Let, let's talk about this hyperbole about a government <laughs> shutdown. <laughs> Literally, well, every, it's happened multiple times in the last five years, and nothing happens. Oh, all that the happened, world hasn't no. ended once. All that happens when the government uh, shutdown happens is uh, all the people that are hired to work in the federal government still get paid, and all taxes get taken out, but nothing gets done. So does um. So Congress does the same thing that it usually does. Oh yeah, I guess it's so, just everyday. Business, on, a, right? on a serious <laughs> on a serious point though, um, how long historically do these sh- shutdowns normally last? Uh, oh, I don't know. That they the, in my in my recent memory, month. not even a month. I don't think. I don't think I've seen one last a month. The, the, okay. It's it's fear porn. It's like oh, yeah. the government's going to shut down. Well, Your house will burn down, and no firefighters will arrive I've, to help you. I have a friend yeah, no, no, who, who flew out out of state for for Christmas, right? And I think the only thing that is affected is national parks. Brad, let him finish his story. <laughs> you call him Brad. I um, so, I but so bad but basically, like she's con- concerned, she's not going to be able to fly back because she thinks that, like, um, you know that that the um, FAA go- is governed, not yeah, yeah, that they're not operating, so they won't allow flights during that time. I don't know that to be true or not. I'm pretty sure the the ATC has to operate now. I knew somebody who during the last one was in school to be an air traffic controller, and the school was shut down during the uh, shutdown, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure our traffic control is still going. Well, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm I, I just it. feel like it's a lot of hyperbole. You know what I mean? Like, oh, the, it's everything's going to stop working. Yeah, you know, every, yeah. Like, we need to take these these apparently recurring opportunities to say, hey, we're spending too much damn money, and we need to figure out what needs cut. You know, there's, there's a, a, I don't know what the saying exactly is, but government doesn't erase jobs. So, like, once a position's created, it never gets rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah, might almost never. Well, yeah, they might. Tr- well, they might remove the position, but like that person just moves on to something else. Typically, you know what I mean. And that's one problem with another problem with bureaucracy because like you have these appointed people that number one can create law, which is wrong, but number two, like they like the Department of Homeland Security, right? right. Th- that was created in 2001. Yeah, it's just, there's, it's just government positions created by the government. Well, how is that not just rolled into the Department of Defense? Yeah. You know, and I'm sure it's under the umbrella, but it's like we literally like well, over, I don't how many how many can, cabinet positions are there, Tony? Can you look that up? I can look that up. I can imagine over a span of many, many years, a government creating brand new government positions and saying we need tax dollars to pay for these government a- absolutely. positions. Like well, like twenty years ago that didn't exist. Why did, why do we want to pay for it now well like how long until we have a d- department of the internet or, or something like that like i'm surprised well, we they're don't, definitely like... working towards that yeah well i, I mean, mean government I mean, is definitely getting the involved they, right? they have they did a hearing with zuckerberg a hearing with google ceo like they're they're trying to, i learned something the government is getting their hands like involved in well, well, I, absolutely the I, I learned something in in high school uh mr wallace this if you ever watch the show this is to you um in my senior government class, he said, okay, so you guys need to understand that if something is a hot-button issue in society, Congress will talk about it. That doesn't mean they will do anything about it, but it would, like they'll have committee hearings on it, and they'll get involved, right? They'll pr- propose bills and whatnot, and you know they're going to make it look like they're doing something about it. But nothing with the- Facebook has changed. Right. And to be fair, the legislative branch doesn't have any power to change anything other than to right law yeah right um but yeah so unless they're going to write a law and regulate internet which i i don't agree with mm-hmm. i suppose i i i, yeah. I, I well usually, you know we have yet to see anything regulation. come of the whole net neutrality <laughs> thing i Apparently haven't heard internet speeds I, have gone up i, I think I, brad I, may have been right about this i have issue. not heard anything on My that topic good. whatsoever well yeah it just takes us back to the <laughs> old days of 2014 when we also didn't have net neutrality so it, oh really we only had it for that four yeah year no it, or something like 2015 20 yeah no it's not that old at all really yeah see there was a lot of misinformation well, about net neutrality a lot a well, lot yeah, the re- there it's was almost a- as bad as the nutrition industry <laughs> yeah eat this protein bar and you'll be ripped bro go ahead i'm sorry i was gonna say the reason that it all came net neutrality came oh, into play in mind. the first place was because um like big companies what? were like Fourth. overstepping yeah. And like the, I guess like the market wasn't responding fast, so like they're like taking advantage and of of people or or like for instance Verizon like 
um, wouldn't allow you to download Skype on your phone because they had their own <coughs> FaceTime service or their own satellite. Like that was the worry that that was going to happen? Yeah, or things like that would happen again. Well, I think the big thing was when Comcast told Netflix, you have to uh, pay us or we're going to throttle you. And Netflix did pay Comcast. Um, yeah, yeah, that was one. Of that the that was the big thing that triggered it. But, yeah. Um, so, so there, there is I, a process. I, I believe for that, that is wrong. I believe that is wrong. I do. They, they should but, not but be allowed to do that. They're providing the service, right? So it's like, it, let's say I bridges are, are privately owned, usually, aren't they? <clears throat> Often, not all. Uh, some right. big, some bigger ones are. So, uh, and toll roads at one point were privately owned, I believe. Or the concept of a toll roll, toll, toll road is is a. A capitalistic idea, right? So, like, to, in well, order to get from A to B, I have the fastest route. You pay me, right? But isn't if that basically like, hey, I own this land. I built this here. You want on my land? You pay my kinda, fee. Kind of. So, but that, and but I, I don't really. I don't see that to be comparable. Well, like, no, but think about it, like, because they're providing your gateway. Like, that's all. <clears> the internet <throat> exists independently of Comcast, right? You pay Comcast every month for your access to the internet via them. Correct? Am I right in that, Tony? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and so basically the idea is you would, if you don't like it, like if you don't like how slow uh, Netflix becomes when you're on Comcast, you go to a different company. Now, that's not an option for everyone, but the idea is that in and capitalism. that's the free market concept. That's the free market side of things, right, where you have fr- multiple choices. Yes. Right, right. But that doesn't always that, exist. That ended up not being the case as much as it should have. But, yeah, that's the idea. And Or like Comcast ha- – or not Comcast. Uh, Netflix had the option to say, no, we're not going to pay it. And and see what, how, it, how things ensued from that point. Right, on. yeah. So maybe people would unsubscribe from or, you know, cut their p- ties with uh, Comcast. Netflix. M- um, more people would probably Netflix probably paid, assuming that most people wouldn't, wouldn't understand the, the total ramification. They would just leave. They, they would just. They leave would think Netflix. it was Netflix and yeah. not. Yeah, actually, they started. I think it was what was it well, fast dot net. So you could like check your internet speeds to see if they were throttling them, which is because nobody throttles uh, speedtest dot net because if you want to test your speed, you're going to right. go there and it's going to be as fast as it could possibly be. Um, so they yeah, they actually made one so you could test. I forget what it was like fast dot net or something. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it, it wasn't handled very well. Right. I don't think. And now I, that, that that brings up a point that that I just want to throw out there that uh, isn't necessarily tied to net neutrality. And, and you know, basically like that concept that somebody the community developed another tool outside of a popular tool to circumvent companies doing their doing dirty practices. Right. So. Like you said, they're never going to throttle speed test. So you do a speed test, and you're like, "Oh, my internet's fine." You know, so the community's like, "Okay, we got to find something for real here." You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, Netflix itself put that up. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like literally their servers that you're testing yourself on. Okay, I got you. Well, but but that's that's response. It's still kind of a community response. The co- communities are always better at responding to things and, and innovating than governments are. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Right. So, like, when, like we talked about earlier with a government position is never erased, you know what I mean? Governments do not create jobs very effectively. No. no. They create no. lifetime. And I think there are still federal pensions also. So, like, back to the bu- whole budget shutdown issue, <laughs> I think there's government pensions that are part of the problem. And pensions are a tough one. Was it uh, that new Democrat... Uh, congresswoman that everyone doesn't like. Uh, she actually proposed uh, that Congress uh, forfeit their pay during the shutdown. I I, I one one hundred percent agree with that. They're not well, working. Yeah, yeah. You you are uh, not working. You are not getting paid. I would paid. agree, but I guarantee if, their contra- <coughs> gar- guarantee their self written contract oh, has contingencies paid. in for this. Oh, they get paid during the government shutdown. Oh, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. She she said that they shouldn't. The one from so, New know, York. Like, it's just crazy. For yeah, some, these, um, these government Cortez. pensions. Cortez, is that what it is? Yeah, she hasn't been getting paid yet, though. <laughs> So, yeah, so, like, it's, e- so yeah. like, it's easy to say that's that a very socialist getting- thing, right? <laughs> so like, you need to give up your your apples there, Johnny. Well, uh, Miss Cortez, you don't have any apples, so it's easy for you to say, and three give months. up thine like, apples. I got all these apples. I want to get rid of this. I love. Like, I, they- I don't agree with like these government pen- pensions at all. Like, is, isn't there a lot of talk right now about like getting rid of like the GI Bill, for example? Um, 
Uh, there, there very well could be. Yeah, I'm sure like, that that's one of the. That's that's something that I've been hearing about, and it's like you're. I think that's and, and wrong. Granted, the scope of how many, you know, veterans would be getting the GI Bill as compared to a much smaller number of like government pensions and all that there is. I get it. But why is the GI Bill being looked at first before these? Yeah. And yeah. I can tell well, you the answer right away they because look into their own exactly, exactly, and like that that is wrong. It's also crazy. Oh, that absolutely. They determine their own paychecks. Like, yeah. It's absurd. What's absurd is, is there no, there's no term limits on these people. Yeah, I don't I don't get to I don't get to yeah, walk up to is. my boss and be like, hey, um, put this many zeros here, please. The problem is, where are their boss? <clears throat> yeah. We are their boss. But so what, what power do we okay. have to, to the prevent po- well, this? Well, the power we technically have. Okay, so the, the, what, what, what is it? The right there, the there's the voting box. Or the, what is it? The ballot box, the jurors box, and the, the cartridge box. Like, those are <laughs> three boxes, right? That, and, and, I mean, that's really what the country was founded on. So, like, we don't like what's going on. We show that with our – we vote with our dollars, essentially. We vote with our vote. The juror box isn't a real thing, though, right? No, absolutely. We have – See, that's a misconception. You, we have the absolute ability to affect law from the juror box, because w- when something comes to trial, it's well, literally constitu- in the juror's hands. Yeah, but they, but they, they, they you can, judge not only the case, you you are judging the law. I understand, but they can also uh, just they 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 like handpick jur- juries. When, well, absolutely, absolutely. The, the whole the whole judicial branch needs needs some looking at. Like the, the like the juror box where we should be interpreting the law ourselves and and enforcing it doesn't work in important cases when they just pick the jurors they want. Well, and more important, yeah, exactly. When they say okay, they do these profiles and it's it's next level type stuff. You know, it's like psychological profiles. Yeah. You know, like because you can't have somebody that's racist judging a. a Minority, a, a minority, right? Because yeah, or, or sitting yeah, yeah. in judgment of yeah, minority yeah, because obviously. it's non. It's, they're not. There's no. There's a bias there. Yeah. You know what I mean. So like they have to identify these things, but you can't tell me that they haven't also ter- taken that clockwork, and, and and change or used it to their advantage. Yeah. You know what I mean. So, and it's hard. Like with with the total consumption of media that we live. You know, our very satur media saturated life that we live. How it's hard to not have influences, you know, about what's going on. But no, the, the juror box is very, very important. So that's why when people are like, oh, I got jury duty. Like, it is it is a very important duty that you have. I I don't – I understand, I guess, why people don't like to be inconvenienced in their day-to-day lives. But, yeah, it's one of the days, like, you get you get paid. Like, maybe not maybe not as much as right. some much. jobs. But, but, but more importantly, uh, you, you are – that that's one of the last checks against bad law. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like so if like people have problems with, with <clears throat> with their their local government, their society, and, and things. That that's the chance to. Well, there's there. a, there's a guy that does. Uh, and people, I don't like people who fold. Like, it. I I don't know. I've never been in jury, but like I see a lot of times where it's like ten against two, and the two people just like. Oh. They just acquiesce. Yeah, they're just like. like yeah. and, and sometimes you're talking about, you People's know, lives. potentially sending somebody to their death. Yeah. You're well, like, well, yeah, mm-hmm. I've, I've been deliberating for two. Well, not in Michigan, right? But N- not very often at all. But I mean, yeah, well, you can. It, it really ruins a person's life. Potentially. Essentially, yeah, if they're going. To well, at the very least, years. they might not. I mean, they may have, maybe they ruined it themselves, but right, it it has a very big impact on a person's life sometimes. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and, and yeah. due process definitely needs to be observed. So, like, that, I mean, that's all part of it, right? So, like, you you need to be innocent until proven guilty. You know, this yeah. whole idea that, like, uh, you, you that's, that's gone, that's wrong. Yeah. That's you still wrong. are innocent until proven guilty. There's a guy that um, has won a bunch of court cases about pot. Like, he he doesn't address what's going on. Like, he, he represents himself. And he, like, shows up and, and he convinces the jury. Now, remember, you only have to convince one person, right? Yeah. You just you need one put doubt in one person's mind. And he may he he tells them you know you have the right and the duty to judge this law. So like, not not if you agree personally that I smoke pot or whatever the guy I don't remember the exact details, but apparently he's done it multiple times. Like convince the one juror to get him to throw the law out basically to mm-hmm. judge the law. Yeah, I don't think that's a normal form of court, but uh, 
No, it, it, it's not representing yourself. Well, it's very, well you're, you're you can do that. No, 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 no. You, I'm saying you always can, but I'm saying it, it's not something that happens, like, with most um, people. With most people. Yeah, because right. I mean, because well, this guy is clearly he's he's versed in in law and and well, all they've that. They've made law far more complex than it needs to be. <clears throat> right. Well, yes, they have. But far like, it's complex. not criminal court. It's not. Um, oh, there's a couple different kinds of court, and it, I don't even know which one it would follow fall under. But. Um, yeah, I, I, it's not a. Common yeah, I had no idea we were going to talk about this, or I would have done a little bit of research. I just remember hearing about this guy in the past. Yeah, this came out of nowhere. <sighs> yeah, right. That's By the good. way, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> jur, jur, is it jurisprudence? Oh, I forgot this is a Christmas episode. What's that term? What, what's that <laughs> How? term? We talked about it four times. You guys know what I'm talking about? No. What? Jurisprudence or prudence or. I have no idea. Basically, it's no. a juror's ability to, to affect the law. Mm-hmm. You know, because the judicial branch is used to check law. You know, unless it's brought to court, you know, it's, it's never checked. Um, okay, at any rate, like that, that went way off talking about Christmas. Continuous um, tangents episode. Continue. Come on, thirty man, every episode. One. Um, so how about um, <clears throat> you got up there uh, an article about chapter approved? Okay. How about we talk about that for a little bit? Okay, yeah, let's talk a little chapter approved, guys. So settle in, grab your popcorn. And we're going to talk about chapter approved. And uh, I'm out. I'm out. See you later. <laughs> so no, um, I was perusing the uh, the interwebs, um, free of website. net neutrality, right? So my yeah. the the service to this particular site was not throttled. Um, and I believe that's a conspiracy of sorts because this site puts out nothing but exquisite promotional material. I have no personal problems with Bell of Lost Souls. Um, I don't. I, I'm not sure how he... Well, he knew because I was talking of the utmost journalistic integrity and Actually, quality. I knew because it's written on the little whiteboard. It says Bell of Lost Souls okay, article. Okay, yeah. So, Bell of Lost Souls generally puts out a lot of crap. Like, it, it's a pretty terrible website, really. I, we talked about that once or twice on this podcast before. <laughs> once um, or twice. Literally, I do not think there's been a single episode of Continuous That's Outrage where it was named. That's not true. Not. I am willing to do the research. Do it. We're I, talking I about, I, we're talking about 31 hours worth of previously recorded do it. footage. Do I it. will comb through every moment Only of it. because you know for sure this episode is yeah, I love it. Okay, anyway, anyway, okay. Got, he's got me. So, um, Actually, I know for sure that the other 30 Jeff were as well. came out so. two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry? Two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and obviously it's changed some things, but, you know, we're getting to the end of the year, so we're going to start seeing articles about, like, you know, the best model of the year, the best codex of the year, all that mm-hmm. cool stuff. I think we should do something like that for our uh, New, Year's uh, New, New Year episode. I agree. A year like, talk, like, do, we'll do, like, a, a, a reflection of, like, what is your favorite things, and we'll, like, like more. We'll go, like, into Magic and board games and all that, like, all the... We'll make it like a, like a 2018 review episode. I yeah, like, I like, I like that. that. I like that a lot. Um, at any rate, so th- th- this <laughs> Give article... Give it a 2 out of 10. <laughs> th- this article was... Uh, 2 out of 18. Uh, I was going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to power through here. This article was about the, uh, the, the top fixes to 40K 8th edition. I believe it was referring to just this year. Yeah. It may... Or within the last year. Um, and... You know, true to Bell Lost Souls form, it, it, it said thankfully in parentheses, and the the the, the article picture was of course guard, right? Yeah, they, because they so guard. many things have you know, Bell Lost Souls absolutely loves the Imperial uh, Guard. How many writers write for Bell? Lost I don't know. They they pull in from the community. There, too. There's like three or four main, main, main ones so that do you like, think like they touch on forty k. One guy they, is a guard player. Do you think they one of them is a guard one player? is a guard player? Do you think that guy? Has just destroyed happiness for the other three guys. Probably playing he's, guard. He's probably and just therefore they just write nonstop articles. There is a lot guard. of hate for guard, and so I don't know exactly I, why. I believe what you're what you're getting to is like one of the one of the five fixes that they did. Oh, was not on one of the five. My the friend. loyal thirty two. Are you also talking about the All Ogren five Hyperloop? Fixes where it gets yeah, okay, so you read the article. Then. Yeah, yeah, I did read. It. Okay, um, yeah. So <clears throat> were well, there five? I think, five I, fixes, think, I think I think there were two five. of the five were literally guard related. Well, I mean, one of them was literally broken, being being the Ogren Hyperloop, which for anyone that's not aware, basically say there is a character sitting here, and you have these Ogren bodyguards, which Protect, can just can can which just, nobody on, brings yeah, currently. Which on a which nobody. on a two up, whenever this guy takes a wound, he can just say, "Nope, I did it instead." 
But the the hyperloop is that now he's taking a wound. Another ogre can on a two up say nope, I do it instead. And it was a way to slow play your opponent. And as you continuously roll these two up saves repetitively forever for every wound. That's a little excessive. It, 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 it is excessive, and so like the entire like concept of the of the 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 move you could say was. Like, hey, heard, this game a, is going to end on turn two because we're going to run the tournament timer timer down. I heard about that loop, like, a year ago. Yeah, immediately, yeah. as soon as the Codex came out, people were like, oh, my God, guard! Codex guard is still the most powerful army. No, it's like, not. The, like, No, it's like, not. I'm saying Codex guard before the FAQ anything. It would still I, be I like the most the powerful Elder thing. Was more powerful. I, nothing changed in the FAQ. Well, I mean, I guess other than the Inari thing. No, but the game is the structure of the game has changed in such a way that the Eldar have been hurt. I, mm. I, I vehemently believe the Eldar Codex is better. Now, that's not to say the Guard Codex is bad because it is not. Mm. But in any case, um, that that was completely broken. The Ogren Hyperloop. It was it was bad. Is the other thing you're talking about the Loyal Thirty Two change? Yeah, I mean, th th Which what I'm talking I, about... I don't agree with that being on the list because everything else was just broken, broken concepts and mechanics, I mean, except I, I, for the Loyal 32. That so was just Bell like... Bell of Lost Souls misses the point. Can I interject real quick? Sure. Did no. Pox Walkers go down to four points? Shut up. Okay. No, they didn't. Uh, um, unbelievable. Nor, I think nor they should. should. They. they can come back for free. Without, do you pay reinforcement you points pay for that? Yeah, but, but what, it, over, what are they going to kill? If they go over, but if they don't, you literally can have... Yeah, you can have a four-inch move with a, with a uh, two-up Can strength. they run? Can they run? Yeah, they can run. You okay. Do. So you can have a ten-inch no move. Okay. Can. Yeah. They get, you can get them to wound have, anything have, in the game on fives. They, they have no save. Anything. On fives. Yeah, they got strength three. Doesn't really, make them, doesn't really make them good. They have an invuln save. They no, no, they don't. Save. They, they have, have they have disgusting and resilient, which, which is, is better than an is, is worse. It's not better than invuln save. How's that better than invuln save? Uh, because you get to take invuln it against can, anything. You can do that with invuln can not take an invuln. No, you can't. Not okay, other wounds. other than mortal wounds, but but still. I'm just saying. I, I would rather have a five up invuln I than disgustingly resilient any day. Than every disgusting day. resilient. I would rather or have a five up invuln over the disgusting result. Why would you nice. rather have a 5 up invuln than a 5 up feel no pain? Because if I get shot with a last cannon, take I can be like, okay, now I just don't do it, rather than, okay, I might not take two of these. Okay, I mean, I, I understand that part of it, but like, like, on a single wound model, that's largely irrelevant. No, no, I mean, you're, you're, you're right, but like I'm saying on the things that I care about, I'll, I'll, I'll take okay. the 5 uh, up I do, I do think they should be 5 points, but... I think five points is fair. He, he mispronounced four, but <clears throat> I mean, I, I might they, be okay they, with they, four. That, that word does have four four letters in it, though. So, at any rate, Bell of Lost Souls. The whole point of their article was <laughs> the, the, there was a subliminal, not subliminal, but the, the almost the thesis of the article was that they have the ability to influence changes in the 40k meta. Uh, the, I think they only talked about that w regarding the Hyperloop. Right, but the, 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 which the, was funny because they said they posted an article about it which I read and then they said not even a day later it was FAQ'd. Uh, well, ratted rather. It was ratted. But but that happened uh, again, I'm back to what they've done to guard. Bell of Lost Souls has led the charge on mo a lot of these charges or changes. Mm -hmm. I am thoroughly shocked still that guard didn't go up uh, guard didn't go to 5 points. The, the Which the is, uh, the confusion there was definitely veterans going down to five is why that was talked about well, in, on the uh, internet I, so I much. I would say it was bad journalistic practices because literally mm -hmm. every leak was like guardsmen going up to five. That's well, was, I mean, with cultists going up, it just made sense. With, right, with but, orcs but going up, it just made you, sense. Why would you put a leak out saying that if you didn't see that? Well, I mean, it, because it's a leak, it's a rumor, right, and, but, and they no, say it's with a false rumor. But, but they say all the time that hey, sure. take it with a grain of salt. Which, which that's on us to do, and, and, and we, we do, and we don't, we don't. Like, how would they know if it's a false leak? I don't no, think. The, no, the person that put it out. I'm saying Jim Bob with the book. Right, but Jim Bob probably looked is probably someone who's not well versed in guard, <laughs> and saw, oh, hey, there, this infantry model went to five points. That means <laughs> no, their infantry goes to five veterans. points. It clearly says no, veterans. But again, someone who's not versed in. Th that's, um, in that's, that's fair. Like, if Jake looked at it, he might not know the difference. <laughs> that's I fair. I know how to read. That's fair <laughs> too. 
Uh, <laughs> that, that's that's still up for the, dispute. The, the same thing goes for the where they said they were going to remove the negative one to hit. Like some that yeah is no a that that's literally that's lie. literally just made up. That's Blade literally lie. just made up. I don't know why they would do At that. At any rate, Bell of Lost Souls has a big problem where they think that they can change the direction of this game, and they have in multiple ways. And actually, you know what? Now, now that you mention it, after the Storm Raven thing, they, um, they yeah, put the, out no, a big the, article, the, and the, we're a big force in getting yeah. that change. Um, Chapter Proof should be getting an FAQ, right? I don't know if they FAQ the FAQ. I, I mean, I mean well, no, no. I mean, like Chapter Proof last year hadn't had an Did FAQ. It? Yeah. Well, then we'd be getting close. Well, to it I would, I because that should be coming then. And you should, you know, like, what if some hail mary they did come along and axe all the neg one to hit Do things? Do all of the, and the FAQ cool. pox walkers on the four points? That'd be great. You know that that would be fantastic. That would be promo. Did, did uh did I'm do all of promos. do all of the chapter approved missions require one army to deploy entirely? All of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then they all also all which I had this discussion with Brad the other day. Because he he was mistaken. Um, all of them use the acceptable casualties rule, which is what which, again. Which is where if if I table my opponent, but my opponent has more victory points than me, the the game will end. But and but we the score is totaled. Yeah, point. We, we, the score is totaled. I will still lose the game. I, I believe so the ITC you, you, does it you, that way as well. You play to you play to victory points. You you, you I think that's how it should be anyway. I, and and I I, I think you I think agree. I I someone I, should I, uh, be a win. I, I mean I I kind of feel like if I table you then you won I won which to be fair if I'm tabling you I'm probably winning anyway because you, I, I you're not running around gathering your win. That's fair. also I did I did finally get a chance to play one of the chapter approved missions I played with Joel and uh, we played one of the maelstrom ones and they all have this new rule still Taking where six cards. yeah you take remove six cards I'm from gonna your add deck. that to the store missions and I I really agree with it you should. Hey, wait, um, wait, take out six cards and what? You take six cards out of your Maelstrom deck, your, yeah, like, yeah, that you draw yeah, your yeah, objectives yeah. from, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, you just take six out and discard them. They're not part of the game. Okay. Random? So, uh, no, no, you, you, oh, get, you, choose? you, you, you choose, choose six them. that you can't, uh, like, like, I could take out all the melee-centered <clears throat> objectives yeah. in my And objective. so, like, but you do it after deployment, before the first you. turn. So, well, so I mean, you think about it, like, you, you, you pull, but think about it, like, you pull something that, like, like, I have one called Regimental Pride, it's literally, I have to have a character kill another character in melee, like, that just doesn't happen very yeah. much for me. So, in a lot of missions, don't, they don't allow you to just discard freely, like, when you're playing a casual game, so yeah. that's really... So, oh, in, in my game against Joel, like, on, actually, we are playing on this table, um, we had five objectives scattered, like, from <laughs> here... On over, but my army was largely like near those. And meanwhile, objective six, he had sit sitting way over here, and he deployed damn near his entire army on it. And I'm I'm looking at it like I'm never going to be able to defend or secure objective six. Yep. I got rid of them. Yep. Wait, so you get rid of them after um, deployment? After deployment, before the first. I turn. really enjoy, I like that a lot. Yeah. No, it, it makes a lot of sense too. And also, like he pointed out earlier, um, deployment all happens. Um, like at once, all at once. So like, old school. It, it'll go between us, and like, I'll deploy my entire army, oh, and then it's completely changed. Yeah. Well, for for these missions, and there's no roll off on that, oh, right? There's no plus one roll. No, or... there's none of that. Um. So basically, how, what happened is I deployed my entire army first, and then Joel deployed his entire army. Um. And then he so and he rolled to attempt first, to seize. Right? Yes. Unless you're seized upon. Yeah. I like that so much so, better. So like, uh, you were very much against that. <clears throat> So what? Joel, I uh, talked about how that that was better because it allowed you to defensively deploy. I don't think I was. And, and he and he did. He deployed like his entire army away from me. But well, you don't have to do that anymore because you have the bombardment one. You have the mm -hmm. fortified position stratagem. Well, you have mm -hmm. the new one that pay two. Yeah. Like, so like in seventh edition, you had to deploy and cover. Okay, like because I could not have first turn. Now you just get cover for being in the open because you use the stratagem. Right, but yeah. all, but there is a lot of if value in in um, line of sight. If if I if if it it's yeah, come down to a two on a roll of a six, button. if it's come down to a roll of a six and whether or not I'm going to get to go before you, I'm going to deploy out of line of sight as much as possible mm -hmm. to keep to keep myself alive. Um, I'm not going to rely on on cover to do that for me. Um, now it, it it really it really changed the flow of the game. I found like. Uh, because none, I, I couldn't deploy with like optimal targets in mind. Or well, you know, I I, I did, but I couldn't. I didn't like. Uh, oh, hey, I've got these destroyers, and he's got those devastators. I'm going to deploy, make sure I'm in range. I couldn't do that. So like, 
optimizing targets was quite a bit more difficult and it made the game it made things die slower like you know I'd play 40k sometimes no it, this this was it was a really it was a simple played. change but it had a very very big impact it was a very fun game I haven't played a lot this year mm-hmm. no you I'd love to play Sigmar if you teach me unbelievable you you go through these phases Jake where you'll like you'll play a game for a while and then now you don't do this with magic you're steady Eddie on magic magic's my number one but yes, I agree with you. I, uh, well, well, hey, on 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 Sigmar though, I just got a new army today, so we oh, should yeah? we should play. You should teach me. Yeah, I, I got I got my present <laughs> today. Yep. Mm-hmm. Today's not Christmas, guys. Uh, You're watching us on Christmas. Yeah, though. Christmas Eve Eve. Can I, uh, wait, have you really got it? Yeah, yeah, I know oh, I did. Okay, so I, I got my <laughs> my. Like, like, my are, you just, are you just saying that because this is airing on Christmas? Because that would be pretty uh, impressive. Yeah, but, no. Uh, so, but no, I got my um, I got my saying? Deepkin army. Oh, with started the, with the gaming. So. I know I, it's uh, I, magic's always my number one, and then I always like fluctuate between other other hobbies. Um, where Christmas time's hard for me to do any extra hobbies, uh, so it's just magic at the you moment. You go to zero. I'm at <laughs> I'm at zero other than magic, and I haven't been playing a lot of magic. It's, it's been pretty bad. I've noticed a, a change for the better in you too. I don't know if they're related. I don't That's know if there's related. a correlation. No. I'm a much better person when I'm <laughs> beating butts in magic. I would argue that magic has a negative impact on people, but that's a topic for another episode. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, we didn't talk about Christmas at all, so thanks for watching this on Christmas. talked about what I got for Christmas, and I'm very happy with yeah. it. I, got uh, my, the I don't know what I got for I got I myself it. a Switch earlier this week. Like That was cool. I got, yeah. I got you a, a cool Christmas present. You'll, get, you'll see. Did you? Yeah. I got Smash for Christmas. That was really cool. That, mine won't mm. be that good. That's all right. It's hard sure. to top Smash. Smash is super, super Smash good. Smash is fantastic. You guys should play it. Uh, you should we're play it in the store. To play, man. We have no, to. I, like, 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 tell like, us what you guys think, but we need to have like Smash tournaments. Absolutely. Like we like once a month. <laughs> Probably do once a week. People love that. <laughs> once game. a week. No, it's great. And it's awesome because they actually have like um, tournament settings for to use and everything. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fantastic. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up episode 31. Uh, we definitely had a lot of tangents. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let us know what you think of this format. Uh, let you know. Let us know what you think of the setting. I personally prefer this setting, I think. I think I, I it's think, not as so too. dull as the white background. Yeah, um, I, I, I like where we're sitting. I do miss the, the uh, interaction between people. Yeah, I agree. Instead, um, of we were forced to interact with each other. Yeah, like these guys. But we so, d- just make sure you engage us. Let us know what you think of the of the overall experience. Uh, and uh, also, we say this all the time: is let us know what you want us to talk about. Like, yeah. Some, sometimes we just make some stuff up ten minutes before the episode. Sometimes we put mm-hmm. a lot of thought out of it, be like all week. But it'd be really helpful to know what you guys want to watch. It would actually be really cool if you guys could ask questions in the comments for this week. If we could look at them like throughout the week, and maybe we could even touch on them like as part of as a segment of the show for next week. Yep, because we was... should be live next week. Um, we may push the time back. Uh, we'll let you guys know. Uh, next week is obviously New Year's Day, or the next airing of the podcast will be New Year's Day, right? Yeah. Um, so it'll be the first day of the new year, so our year, year in review stuff will be great. Um, but we don't know if we're going to be live at our normal time, our normal setting. We'll, but we'll, we'll keep you updated between uh, the time you watch this and then that episode. So um, if there's nothing else, we will cut this thing out. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the uh, interactment, interactment, the interacting with us through uh, the comments and whatnot. So just let us know what you think. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, well, we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. All right. Bye. Yeah.